We're on the way to Terlingua and Big Ben Ranch State Park. It's a Javelina family. We're going down Old Maverick Road now. Old Maverick Road is a 14 mile improved dirt road passing along the Terlingua Creek Badlands on the west side of the park. This is on the way to Terlingua on the Old Maverick Road. Mike's letting some air out of the tires so our ride isn't quite so rough on this washboard road. Driving through a dry riverbed. Gilberto Luna built this jacal. Luna, a pioneer farmer, arrived here in 1916 and raised his family. He made a living along the banks of the Alamo Creek selling goats and wood to his neighbors and nearby miners. He was well respected and known far and wide throughout Big Bend. Crossing Javelina Wash on the way to Talingua. Took us 50 minutes to drive the old Maverick Road. Now we are on 118, heading to Study Butte, and then to Talingua, ghost town. Oh, there's one, remember she said there's music? Welcome to Terlingua. This is Terlingua, ghost town. Painted feather gallery. This is Terlingua Ghost Town. Stopping here to check things out. Drive here is very beautiful. There's a Terlingua jail. I want to be stuck in here. At least they got some beer to point it to jail. <laughs> you like chairs. Terlingua was a mercury mining town and the Chisos Mining Company employed virtually all of its residents. When the mine was Closed in 1942, the miners walked away, leaving their homes behind, and it became a ghost town. Now you can explore the old cemetery, gift shops, art galleries, restaurants, and bars. See Earth and Fire Art Gallery. Terlingua is famous for its chili cook-off and in 1967 was deemed the chili capital of the world. Old mine shaft down there. Here's the community garden in Telingua Ghost Town. All the old beams caved in, still in the old building. Here's the Terlingua Cemetery. Terlingua Cemetery is a national register for historic sites. Old Cemetery. The cemetery dates to 1903 and is filled with crosses and monuments honoring the lives of those who passed away in mining accidents or the influenza epidemic from 1918 to 1919. Iron barbecue. Huh? 
This is a rustic iron barbecue in Chirlingua. Looks pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rustic iron barbecue. Almost got too tasty. Delicious meal. You're gonna be famous on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. So you guys, was it good? Delicious? Good. We're at the Barton Warnock Visitor Center in Big Bend Ranch State Park. Just left the ghost town of Telingua. Nice. We are in Big Bend Ranch State Park, taking a scenic drive. That's the Rio Grande River down there, and there's Mexico on the other side. This is the Upper Madera River access in Big Bend Ranch State Park. Rio Grande River's down there, and Mexico's across the river. This is the La Cuenta River Access in Big Bend Ranch State Park. This is the Rio Grande. It's the Rio Grande. Terlingua Ghost Town. back to the old Maverick Road, back to Cottonwood Campground. Just got back onto old Maverick Road on the way back to Cottonwood Campground. Just got off old Maverick Road, heading back to Cottonwood Campground. It's about a 40 minute drive on Old Maverick Road. The owls are out again. Sunday, February 27th, we're leaving Cottonwood Campground for Rio Grande Village. There's the mule ears. We're stopping at the Homer Wilson Ranch while we charge up our battery with a generator. Hiking down to the Homer Wilson Ranch. The Homer Wilson Ranch was abandoned in 1945. We're hiking up the Little Creek Trail near the Homer Wilson Ranch. I mean, it could be the same, but it'll be wrong. Blue Creek Trail is marked with cairns. Leaving the dry riverbed on the Blue Creek Trail. Mm -hmm. 
Blue Creek Trail. Pretty area here. Looks almost like hoodoos. Hiking up the Blue Creek Trail. And we got some pretty tight formations behind us. It's actually a really nice trail. We hiked about an hour, we hiked about one mile into the Blue Creek Trail, now we're turning back. And there's Santa Elena Canyon up there. Back on the dry riverbed section of the trail. 11 o'clock, we turned around on the Blue Creek Trail and started heading back towards Homer Wilson Ranch. We finished the section of the Blue Creek Trail. There's the trail sign. This ranch was the heart of Wilson's ranching operations in the Chisos Mountains before the park was established in the 1940s. The house with a line camp lived in for many years by Wilson's line foreman, Lot Feltz. Are you a cowboy? Yeah. Cowboy Jim. Cowboy Jim. He's the foreman of this place. Welcome to my ranch. There's a little fireplace. Welcome to my hacienda. Oh, I am the Gracias. foreman. Gracias. Even a fireplace. Gracias, senor. Por favor. I am Foreman Wilson. It's one of the few buildings left in the park and it's now considered historic. We hiked 1.8 miles today to the Homer Wilson Ranch and down the Blue Creek Trail. And I would highly recommend this hike if you're just looking to take an hour and a half or so. If you're looking for a nice two mile hike, 10, 25, we're back up at the parking lot. Here's the Panther Junction Visitor Center. This is our campsite at Rio Grande Village Campground without hookup. We hike up to Rio Grande Overlook from the Rio Grande campground. Cool, coming up to the Rio Grande Overlook on the trail to Hot Springs. Rio Grande Overlook up ahead. There's the Rio Grande Village campground down there and a beautiful view of the Rio Grande River. Some cattle down there, getting some water, water, some javelinas. Here's the campground with full hookups. Ours is much better. The Rio Grande Village store and showers and laundry. Showers are $2 for five minutes. Very nice campground. Ten twenty. we are starting the 2.8 mile trail to Hot Springs and then it's 2.8 miles back but we are going to also take the scenic overlook to the Rio Grande along this trail. A little bit of climbing on the beginning of this trail. Not horrible but no shade out here. 10.30, made it to the turn off to the Rio Grande overlook. I checked that out this morning. There's the Rio Grande River and there's Mexico on the other side. Some cattle wandering around down there. Are you hot? 
pretty comfortable. Pretty good. It's been a pretty easy trail so far, a few ups and downs, but not real steep. Big Bend was named after the large bend in the Rio Grande River. There's the hot springs down there. Too far to see of the camera yet. J.O. Langford had a fancy bathhouse at Hot Springs, which is now long gone, but the foundation still remains and is a good place to soak in the hot spring. The hot spring is heated by a geothermal process and emerges at 105 degrees Fahrenheit and the water carries dissolved mineral salts said to have healing powers. She was behind me. It's the Rio Grande. 11.30, found a sign, Hot Springs, 0.25 miles. <laughs> Kids come over from Mexico and sell stuff on this side of the river. There's the hot springs. The Rio Grande River at the hot springs. How does it feel, you guys? Feel good? It's a lot colder in the river. The bees come out awfully quickly. You went up too soon. You went away from them. These look like asters. You panic. Oh, it's a little slippery. Hey. Boy. Heading back to Rio Grande Village Campground from the Hot Springs. What do you think of this view? Good. Could stay this here is, for a long time. This is one gorgeous view. Could spend Everywhere. hours up here. Pretty warm out here today, and we're on our way back to Rio Grande Village. And there is the Rio Grande, and I see the parking lot down below. And it is 210. <laughs> Feeling better? A little bit. Cooling down? Yeah. It's all downhill from here. I'd recommend this hike to the hot springs, but I would recommend going early in the morning to stay away from the heat. 225, I made it back to the parking lot. Back at the parking lot from our hike to hot springs. Got a whole herd of javelinas at our campsite. <laughs> so we're heading to Boquillas Canyon Overlook. 
Okay, we're hiking up the Boquillas Canyon Trail. 1.4 mile round trip with 102 foot elevation gain. And the kids have these little shops with all these trinkets for sale along these trails. Down in Boquillas Canyon. Boquillas Canyon. Boquillas Canyon is one of three major canyons located in Big Bend. And the limestone gorge splits the Sierra del Carmen Mountains. There's Boquillas Canyon. Beautiful. What kind of birds are these? Like some kind of swallows that live in the rock? Cliff swallows maybe. Some pretty flowers. We are heading deeper into Boquillas Canyon. Boquillas Canyon is largest and deepest in Big Bend. And the relief from nearby Pico del Carmen to river level is over 7,000 feet, a little deeper than the Grand Canyon of the Colorado. Very green along the river. It's like you're getting sucked into a trap. Me and Barb are waving down the Rio Grande because we don't have canoes or kayaks. We are not going to get a $5,000 fine and go on the other side. Second site at the Rio Grande Village Campground. This is where we can run our generator. Barb is cooking chili for dinner tonight. Mm -hmm. How is it going? Very well. It's looking good. And what's happening over here? Yeah. Sandy relaxing. is reading and relaxing our last full day. She's worn out. I'm worn out. We were having chili our last night at Big Bend. It's a beautiful night for eating outside. How's it taste, everybody? Delicious. We're going on the Rio Grande Nature Trail tonight to see sunset. And there's a little bit of a boardwalk here. And there's beaver and nutria. I saw a nutria a couple nights ago here. Oh, I think I might have seen that so ash throwing flycatcher, and I thought it was a sparrow. Yeah. This is the Rio Grande Village Nature Trail heading up to the top for sunset. We're up here at the Overlook, waiting for sunset tonight. And there's the campground down there. Barb and Sandy enjoying this beautiful evening. Big Bend Park was established as a national park by Franklin D. Roosevelt on June 12, 1944, only a week after D-Day landing at Normandy.
How do we spend our evenings when it's dark? We play up, up and, down and down the river. The river. Yeah. Up and down the river. And it's a crazy game tonight. Yes. Anybody's game.